Hi guys, I'm here today with my uh, 2003 Mazda B2300 and I'm going to be replacing the instrument cluster bulbs or lights um, in the dash and uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos that explain how to do this but um, uh, hopefully this will be a little more um, informative. So we're going to go ahead and start. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the upper three screws here. Um, they are seven millimeter. So there's three of them going across the top. Let's do that now. Okay, now we're going to remove the two screws that are just below the stereo here. Next, we're going to remove this whole bezel around the stereo. Okay, so we removed the stereo console, and now we're gonna go after this screw right here. Okay, we're gonna remove the plastic panel under the steering wheel. There's four screws to remove. One here by the parking brake. Two underneath this hood latch. And one back over here. Okay guys, when you're taking out this plastic panel, make sure that you're sliding it toward you because otherwise you will snap and break these little pins that go inside those little holes there. Okay, so we got the uh, plastic panel off. Now we have to get this um, metal panel off. There are five of these. There's one here, one here, one up here and then there's one here and one here and they are eight millimeter and now we're going to go for this plastic panel that uh, surrounds the instrument panel okay to remove this panel now we're going to have to release it with these two bolts one on this side and one on this side okay guys so we got this uh plastic piece off and we had to disconnect a couple of connectors. Uh, I got them off. This one was a little tough. Um, you have to get in behind it with a screwdriver and pry this one up um, to get it out. Just be careful you don't break that little tab. And now we're going to go after the instrument cluster which uh, has a couple of bolts on each side and uh, we'll go ahead and remove those. So we got the uh, instrument panel out. It had some plugs in it, which we took care of. We just pulled them out. They came out pretty easy. It's a little dirty in there. I'll show you the instrument panel. Okay, so I have the instrument panel right here, and uh, the lights were, uh, the light bulbs were out on it, and so I pulled one out, and it was black. I'll show it to you in a second. But I'm going to replace all these little um, black bulb sockets with um, new bulbs. I'm gonna just uh, replace the bulbs only. I don't need to replace the sockets. Okay, so here is the bad bulb. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of them because this isn't the only one that's bad. Okay guys, so we got it all put back together and uh, we tested it out. And it looks like all the lights are working fine. Um, when I did take this apart, um, my oil gauge over to this side, the uh, the needle on it, for some odd reason, went over here and it was drooped down in this area. And uh, I watched some YouTube videos on this because I was trying to figure out how this, why this happened, and uh, um, I'm not quite sure why it happened. But when I took the gauge out. Um, 
I uh, blew the car out with a blower because it was uh, quite a bit of dust and debris uh, behind the, the uh, instrument cluster. And so um, as I was uh, blowing it out, I decided to blow out the instrument cluster as well. Uh, I'm not sure if the air did that to it or um, if it's just the fact that when you take these things out and they don't have power or anything to them, um, somehow it, it's, it's got a, a magnet of, of some sort behind. This thing operates magnetically or, or electronically. And so I watched some YouTube videos and watched some guys actually bring it all the way back to this position using a magnet. And I thought they were joking at first, but uh, I went to the hardware store and uh, I purchased a couple of magnets like this. They're not the, the super um, neo diamond mag magnets, those really uh, strong ones, but these ones seem to work just fine. And if you use the side of them, and I just put the two of these, I just left them together like that, and I used the two of them together, and uh, I just waved them right over the top of this needle, and if you just turn it, it'll actually make that needle come all the way back into position and it corrects it. So, if you guys do take apart your instrument cluster to do the lights on them, and that happens to you, this can be a very easy fix. Um, those magnets only cost me about $4, and I had it fixed in under a minute. And so you don't have to tear apart this whole thing again uh, to try and fix it. Um, you can just hold it right up to the plastic right here, and uh, it's strong enough to where it'll make that needle go all the way right back. So um, other than that, uh, I'll show you what the lights look like as soon as it gets dark. Okay guys, so here it is. It's at night now, and... Uh, how the instrument panel came out. Uh, the lights are all functioning just right and uh, we got our uh, oil gauge back to functioning perfectly and uh, so I just want to thank you guys for watching and uh, do hit that uh, like button and also subscribe as well. Okay, thanks for watching.